you know, 2,000 Buddha fans have got to go there and hopefully, hopefully Raw is onto a victory, but you know what it is, it's, it's hard to see now. I can't take it at Norwich, I can't stand Norwich, it's that club that just irritates me. What's going on? Welcome back to another video. Just a quick little review of yesterday's game. Of course, I live streamed it as well. Smashed it once again, the like button. I said 50 likes. I'm pretty sure we got around 50 likes. I'll be live again this Saturday, 10 to 3. Ready to watch Borough versus Stoke away from home. Another tough game. No doubt it always is going to Stoke, but it's always a tough game. But listen, last season, Borough went and then did okay. And last night, Borough did okay. Bro did well, I wouldn't say Bro did okay, I was about to say Bro did okay. Bro did really well last night. Played a tough Sun City side. Uh, I believe they were fourth inside the league table going into the game. You know what I mean? Bro obviously tenth. They were probably favourites to go into this one. I think they were two to one inside the betting market, so there you go. And I don't think Bro were anywhere near their favourites for this one. But listen, Bro came out two one winners. Now you can see how much it hurts ones are going one nil down and then two nil down because you know if they'd won that game last night, they could have gone top of the league. Borough are now three points off second, and I think we're still sitting tenth. Like it's mental how tight this league is this season. But overall, I look at it and think to myself, Borough's doing all right. Do you know what I mean? Even over tenth, we're plodding away, chipping away at it, going into games, thinking positive, being positive. Do we fear anybody? I don't know. I mean, me personally, I do fear quite a few teams inside this division. But you know, looking on social media, I know a few Borough fans are fearing anybody inside this league, and that could be a bit of a tough thing to sort of handle. But uh, me personally, I don't forget that you know it is a championship, and even though we are on good form, really. Um, you know, I don't forget that, you know, anybody can beat anybody inside the championship and that's absolutely the truth of it. I seen last night, you know what I mean, a team that's tenth beat a team that's fourth, so anybody can beat anybody. I'm not gonna take anything away from our performance last night. I thought we were absolutely spot on. Matt Bowler was absolutely class. Um who else was impressed with Matt Stavani? I thought Paddy McMessi did well, or Paddy McNair. Um so yeah, I thought Duncan Watmore as well. Say no more, Duncan Watmore. Do you know what I mean? What more can you ask for, ladies and gentlemen? I believe he's got one assist, two shots, two goals. And I believe he's only played three games or two games. So, Don Watmore's absolutely smashing it already for Middlesbrough. And listen, people can say, yeah, but listen, he's only made a couple of appearances. To bring that couple of appearances, it actually made quite a big effect, hasn't he, on the team? And uh, listen, two goals from yesterday. First one, or okay, can say it's lucky or whatever the heck you want to say. It's a good goal. It's on his right foot, takes it inside, obviously puts it into the bottom corner. The second one is a beautiful bit of play. Hit on the counter attack, Paddy McMessi, ball to Don Watmore, and he's put it straight in the bottom corner. Disappointing to concede, really. The hander, I believe it was, obviously pulled the goal back for Swansea. Um, and once again, took a deflection went straight into the top corner. So, this was a nice finish, but the end of the day, it was actually an own goal. But I think the hander did get the goal in the end. But listen, you know, no complaints from me last night. I thought we were absolutely spot on. But better than I had a good game, better than Saturday. And uh, it's, he loves a win. Look at his celebration after the game. He loves a win. Matt Bowler, absolutely going meant after we won. Um, just celebrating like crazy. So I love it, man. I love it whenever the Borough win. It gives me a dead, dead happy mood. And uh, it's, I look forward to Saturday. I mean, Saturday's going to be a tough game. No doubt about that one. Stoke City, they're a very, very weird side inside this championship. You know what I mean? Like, you can play them on really, really, really bad form for them. And then all of a sudden, like, they turn up and beat you. So, yes, it's, it's, uh, Stoke is a bit of a weird one to go into on Saturday. But overall, I'm I feel in good spirits for it. Beat them, hopefully. Got a few more places inside this championship. And overall, I just keep it going. Because it's, at the end of the day, why not keep it going? Team looks good. Team's positive. And uh, like I say, doing what more. Obviously, walked into the change room last night for the 90 minutes. Uh, and I believe he was greeted by a round of applause from the team. So that's obviously going to lift his confidence. It shows us a good mood inside the uh, change room as well. And as I say, powering one. Like I said from the start of the season. I even said last season. Um, you know what I mean? Like, even before John Wood actually got the job at Borough, I said, get Warnock in. He's a man for the job and he's proving it, surely. I think we've only been beaten three times in about 14 and 15 games, so there we go. Unbelievable record compared to last season. And like I say, right, let's just keep it going. What were your thoughts on the game? No, let me know inside the comment section. I'll be live again on Saturday, 10 to 3, so do not miss this stream. Borough v. Stoke is going to be a good one. See you guys next time. Peace out.